Hey Husker fans, Sam McEwen with the Omaha World Herald and Husker Extra. This is our one minute Big Ten offseason update. We're going to do one of these for each of the 13 teams that are currently in the league, excluding Nebraska. I think you have a pretty good idea of what Nebraska is doing. This one is on the Maryland Terrapins. So the Terrapins will be visiting Nebraska later this year. And they've had a couple of good seasons, back to back bowl games for Maryland. They return their quarterback. Talia Tagovailoa, that, yes, that's to his younger brother. He's had two very good seasons at Maryland, and he may be the best quarterback uh, in the league coming up. He and J.J. McCarthy are probably going to kind of share that honor. Maryland has gotten a lot better on the lines of scrimmage. Coach Mike Loxley has done a nice job of recruiting, and so he's done a very, very good job there of recruiting. I think defensively, they're going to have to replace some players in the secondary, and they're going to have to replace some receivers. And so if you look at the weaknesses that Maryland has, it's probably going to be throwing the football with those receivers and then covering the pass in the back end. Maryland always struggles toward the end of each season stopping the run because they don't have quite the same size of bodies and the same number of defensive linemen that some of the best Big Ten teams have. But they've built that up over the last couple of years, and so I think Maryland probably feels like it's in a good spot on the line of scrimmage, especially on the offensive line. Question marks at receiver and defensive back, and they have one of the league's best quarterbacks. Okay, that is our Big Ten offseason update for Maryland.